It's a morning. This is this is the morning after the night after. No. This is yeah, whatever they call it. This is the morning after my night out and uh, I'd come out and I was driven around before sunset and then soon after dark I came into this area and um, I was shattered for some reason. I was just exhausted so I thought oh, let me just lie back on my camera box and just listen, look at the stars and listen and wait as I do anyway. And I obviously passed out. And I must have passed out for about an hour and it was, it was incredibly quiet. And there was some impala near me they weren't making a sound, it was just quiet. Any little footprint you would hear, a footstep you would hear. And next thing I was woken, well the impala were running, and then this mighty roar. And here was a lioness just coming, just strolling past me, as if she had woken me up and said, hey, come, let's go, we're going hunting. So I followed her and followed her, and we carried, walked another lion roared behind. I don't know if it was a male or female. Anyway, I followed this lioness and then she started running and she wasn't running from me and I realized that with Joni moving and the noise of the engine and stuff, there was now sound. So her footsteps were being completely muffled by the sound of the vehicle and she was taking full advantage of that. And I tried to hang back, but then I lost sight of her in these bushes. I mean, it gets quite thick around here. And so I was trying to catch up and the next thing, she caught this male impala that had come running back towards her. And she's now strangling this thing. And it's taking forever, probably two, three minutes. She's strangling it and then another lioness arrives. And between them, they then start pulling this thing apart and probably alive for about another minute, I could still see it kicking. So it took them three to four minutes to kill this impala. And I mean, I think, you know, people are always very judgmental about wild dogs and hyenas, how they rip their prey apart and how brutal it is and whatever. Yeah, it's not nice to see, we know that. But the fact of the matter is that animal dies a hell of a lot quicker, just so much quicker with that, with, with wild dogs and, and hyenas, probably 30 seconds instead, even a single wild dog will go for the throat because he's been chasing that impala so far it's so exhausted just a 20 30 second clamping of the throat and that thing's dead he's got no oxygen left anyway these lionesses fed and then a male arrived and he came sauntering in lay down with the girls he was acting very nice and started eating with them and then just one growl and the girl scattered and he had the rest of the impala to himself and you think really dude is that how you operate and you think, you know, we often like to use lions and the whole system, how they work, how the pride works, how they hunt and everything to say how business should work and how we should work together. But when you see that, yes, maybe business works in the way that they hunt and everything and all those strategies. But the eating strategy, <laughs> there is no strategy. It's each one for himself. So once you've, once your business, is, once you've cracked your business, then it's each one for himself. I don't know, not quite there. Anyway, these, so these, that was a game over for these lions and the lionesses at least fed for quite a while before he arrived. And so I spent the night there, a few jackals arrived, they got scraps and it was quiet for the rest of the night. And the lions moved off, they headed north into the Mapani and heard elephant breaking branches there in the night. And then at dawn I was heading west out of this area and the next thing I see is that a herd of elephants? Five black rhino just cruising across the open area. Five black rhinos. Insane. I was beside myself. I managed to film them for a bit. and But as soon as they picked up my scent, oh, they were gone like a little rocket straight into the Mopani. And that was game over for me. Now, I'm parked here next to this massive old skeleton of an old Inyala berry. And you just wonder how old that thing is. It's been around for hundreds of years. How long it's been dead for? Probably a few hundred years as well. And I just love them. I love these beautiful trees. They are just stunning. And iconic in their own way. That's the beauty of this place. The wood hasn't been taken by people to be burnt. It's still wild. And lots of things live in there. From, you know, little um, reptiles, 
mice, even sometimes you'll, a leopard might use that to hide a little cub for a while. So it's, they're very useful and to take them away, ecosystem doesn't function. And that was my night.